This is Joseph Coco. I'm at Mocha Fest 2014 on behalf of Keep On Trucking Natto Soup, the art process blog. If you could introduce yourself, Carl. Yeah, I'm Carl Thompson. I'm a cartoonist based in the Minneapolis area, Minnesota. Okay, and what brings you to Mocha Fest this year? Um, you got many, many comics on display. Heck yeah. Um, I I've just always wanted to go to Mocha, like, like even before I even was making a lot of comics. But I uh, this is just been notably, according to a lot of people, one of the better comics fests out there. It's just like, well worth the 24 hours to get here, as I'm told by many, many peers. Wow. And you opted to drive for financial reasons, or you just had a lot of comics you wanted to bring? Definitely financial reasons, and also, I, I rode with these guys, and it was a blast. It was, it was yeah, comics road trip. Yeah, comics road trip is like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a really... This is my first real road trip I've ever been on. So and we did like, talk about comics for like at least probably ten hours. Yeah, 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 yeah excessively. excessively. Did you did you come in today or are you you staying in a hotel? We came in on a couple days ago, so we've been staying with with friends. Okay. So you'd recommend getting in touch with someone you know in the city if you're going to be driving down here? Uh, definitely. I, cause, I mean, driving in the city is nuts. Uh, uh, yeah, I have that Which one. I mean, we did very little of it, and that was the plan. So. <laughs> Okay, and this is your first year at Mocha Fest. Have you attended it is our before? Very first year, yeah. It's, we, uh, we're completely new to the environment. I mean, we, but we've been to a few comics fests. You've been to actually more than we have. But like, there was there was a show recently last year uh, called Off Topic in Minneapolis. And it was a very very cool fest. Uh, maybe maybe a little smaller than Mocha, but the same sort of like there was a lot of emphasis on DIY sort of work. Right. So coming from a little bit of smaller conventions, uh, I realize the convention is just getting started, but what would you say is different between coming to something larger like Mocha Fest that has hundreds of tables as opposed to... I guess it's a little intimidating. It's like a, like back at home, we knew a lot of the people going by and like, you know, we could, uh, we could maybe be a little more in a comfort zone there, but it's, you know, it's, it's more exciting than anything else. Like, I, Alison Bechdel's here and I'm flipping out about that. <laughs> So you're gonna get a chance to walk around later in the evening? I do. Yeah, we'll we'll probably oh, yeah. rotate. We'll rotate shifts like we did driving here. Yeah, that's so, that's yes. definitely the benefit about coming to a convention with people you know. You can actually get a chance to interact with other artists that you you're familiar with their work, but you might not know them personally. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. Um. So what what drove you to Mocha Fest specifically? You said some friends had recommended it. Yeah, friends recommended it, and it's it's like there's I mean there's a lot of a lot of my favorite. Publishers are out here that I'd like to you know, just, like, see what sort of stuff they're making nowadays. Yeah. Um, so you're coming both as a fan and as an artist, obviously. Every time, always. <laughs> always. Yeah. Like, I will never not be a fan. As professional as I want to be, it's like I'm still geeking well, out. Well, there's, there's generally a lot of pressure. Um, I don't know if our viewers know, but tables here are pretty expensive. So yeah. some people just see the pressure that I need to sell, and it keeps them behind the table. But it's good to hear that you you yeah. want to go around, you want to spend money, you want to help people out. Heck yeah. It's, I mean, it's... <laughs> I just have to want to support more than anything else. Like, it's like this is this is a small, crazy enough industry that like you know I'd much rather support people than try to just hold my own. You know? so I, would, I would assume that other cartoonists would get that. Can you tell me? Can you tell me a little bit about uh, comics and comic creators in Minnesota? They are the best. They are. They are. They are the best. Are, did they tend to be self-taught, or is there a good um, art school there? there there's at the Minneapolis College of Art and Design has a comics program that a lot of actually great artists come out of there. Uh, Caitlin Skalrud, Bart uh, King, Bart King, like like Hedwig, yeah, um, Evan Palmer, Evan Palmer, Tim Siebert, Anna Von Giovanni, to name a few. To name a few. There's, there's a lot of really amazing cartoonists coming out, there. and even people. In the base, in the base. People who haven't come out of this school, too. There's a lot of really good guys. Uh, Andres Nielsen is going out there right now. Zach Sally. Um, Tom Kaczynski. Tom Kaczynski. Jordan Shively. Yeah. So 
it's not a place. Um, I, I realize you said it was tight knit, but you're also accepting of other artists who come in, like oh, to, oh, yeah. to I, some I, of the conventions we there. We have Xander and Kevin Cannon who um, do Big Time Attic out there too, and they're from North Carolina or something, but they like well, like they're in our scene and they're great. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's, no, it's it's a really it's a really like. Which is weird to say about Minnesota. But it's, it's a very, it's a very warm place to be a cartoonist. It's also not super clicky. Like there's like the people who do kind of like anime, and there's people who do like Marvel DC stuff, and there's like us who do indie comics, and everyone still like hangs out together. Yeah. Which is really that's nice. great. Yeah. yeah. It's usually like a big schism between. I, I guess indie and anime tend to be kind of close together, but yeah, they overlap. Mainstream slash superhero is often in its own little group. No, I think even our mainstream guys still like make most of their own stuff too. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, they, they have a, it's cool. They do have a, an appreciation for the, the sort of self-made stuff. Yeah, and it's, yeah, we we all have like very um, very diverse tastes in comics. Wait, need to we, we read everything, and we I just, I'd like to think we're not all that pretentious about it. We try not to be. At least. We try not to be, which I think is mostly what we can ask for. Yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> Isaac, if it's, if it's comics, I already like it. You know. Leia, could you talk about your work a little bit? Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, this is the earliest book that I made over here. Um, I made it when I was a freshman at MCAT, so it's a few years old. Um, but it's still the longest thing that I've made, and I'm really proud of it. Um, this is my most recent work. It's called Canning Season. Um, it's about depression and dealing with emotions, and it's, it's trying to be very human. Um, I got a lot of success on Tumblr, which is very happy about. I'm, I'm very right. proud of it. And then this little book here is um, currently being published by Andrews McNeil, and I don't have printed copies from them yet, so I just have my own little self ones. But um, I did sign to the publisher, which is yay! So that's the majority of it. Okay. And uh, how exactly did the publisher notice you? Was it something that you were pursuing them, or did they just happen to be following your Tumblr? They pursued me, which was very strange and out of the blue and unexpected. I actually met my publisher um, while I was tabling at SPX, and she was walking Wonderful. around looking for some new talent, and she picked up Clementine and did, said, do you want to do this for the next three did years? Did you recognize her and engage her, or no she idea. just happened no. to... She bought my book, and I signed it for her, and then I had no idea who she was, and she emailed me a week later and was like, hey, we met, it's Sheena, um, I'm a publisher for this place, and I was like... That is a professional that I swear in front wonderful of you story. Yeah. You might want to pinch yourself and see if you're dreaming. No, that's. <laughs> yeah. I do want a regular basis. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Every Monday it goes up. Every Monday. That and is great. I go, oh, this is real. Yeah. Okay, so is there anything uh, else you wanted to mention? Uh, work you might be coming up with uh, to promote conventions yes. you're going to in the future? Yes. Um, this book here, BFD, is something. amazing. <laughs> it is great. You but, want some good slice of live comics? This is where you come. Yeah. <laughs> Hire me for your hype man. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You are hired. Um, but yeah, this this is a project that uh, Scotty and I have been collaborating on for. It's been in the making for a while, a long time. This is the second version of the first issue too. They yeah. they like oh, redid wow. the whole book, and yeah. I mean, it is much better. It's Which excellent. Is, yeah, thank you. It's, Not that the old one was bad, but and this it's is it's also a practice I wouldn't recommend ever. <laughs> like they're they're. Uh, I don't know. It's we, we sort of we were busy with a lot of other things and had certain distractions, and finally we were able to like get going on it again, and it was it's a blast. I, I love this trip a lot, and we can say more about it. It's the like, well, that's the this is the first chapter. Just twenty pages, but will eventually be a two hundred and fifty page. Okay. I'm the artist, so yeah. I, was, <laughs> I wrote the script. That's done. Yeah, yeah. Already. So it's all on me now to like crank out. I'm hyped though. I love this book. But anyway, that's great. So wh why was there a, a second revision of it? Were you just um, not happy with the was, first, or was it was too much kind of, time in between? There was. We kind of jumped on it um, when we did the first version because I was using it as my senior project at the time at MCAD at right. the Minneapolis College of Design. And uh, and so, like, kind of before you had like a, a idea, of, an idea of the direction of the rest of the story. Yeah. yeah. So what I wouldn't advise is drawing the book before you've written it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like before it was written. So 
Because yeah, as we went along, as the story started to develop, I realized we're going to have to change that detail, that detail, that detail. Yeah, I've been right. And it's not something you can just update a few panels. It's no, you have to restructure. No, it, and it was, and I mean, there's perfectly capable of that, but it got to a point where it's like we were, you were struggling trying to adhere to like all of the things that we had set up, and it was just like I think it's, at, at some point I was like, look, I can redraw. Like, yeah. I was like, it's okay. Like, so, I, I'm, I love it, so it's great. For someone who has a, a few comics under their belt, um, yeah. when would you recommend uh, artists starting on a project then? Because when? Uh, yeah. So, like, say you have an idea in your head, but you might not have the full story fleshed out. Like, oh. how do you? How do? You, when do you go about drawing that comic? God, it's well, okay, because it's different for everyone. It will always be different for everyone. I know. I know people who like they don't know what they're doing until they draw a few pages or a few panels, and then suddenly it's like they'll aesthetically figure out what they're doing, they'll right. story-wise figure out what they're doing. And I imagine you drew the characters quite a bit and, and yeah. worked on those a little bit. I, I, I can tell you, I don't, I don't work that way. I'm, I'm the type of person to, like, if I don't have, like, a, like a plan that's just tight, like a very, like, scheduled plan, then I can't, I can't go for it. And it's, uh, I'm typically the type of person who will, like, what the fuck, I'll thumbnail, I'll script, I'll, I'll make sure I know everything before I go, just because... And thumbnail again, and then just yeah. plan, yeah. and then thumbnail Right, and, like, and, and it is, it is the type of thing, it also depends on what you're working on. If you're working on, like, a full-on graphic novel, I mean... It's, it's, I think it's good to like know what you're doing from the get-go. You you see so many examples of like comics where like the style changes halfway through the book, or like, yeah. they, or they generally just like get better as they draw. But it's, it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's a very different thing. It's, it's, a, it's also why I kind of, I really enjoy doing this sort of like shorter work because right. that this way, is that way it's 20 like twenty pages. You said? Yep, that's that's twenty pages. And that again, because it's going to be a larger book, we, I mean, we planned the shit out of it before before we started. Before we were like, okay, now we're going to draw. Like it was, I think there was like a defining moment where we're like, it is okay to draw in three, two, one. Okay, go. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, it's, to each his own, always. Right. Um, so, are you going to be attending any other conventions? How can we get a hold of your comics? If, uh, okay, we want to go to TCAP, we want to go to Kate. I'll be at TCAP and Kate. Great. And TCAP is in Toronto, correct? Where's Kate? Kate's in Chicago, and it is, it's, only, it's still kind of a baby con. It's like three weeks. I think it's going on two years. Two years. This year. Okay. And it's going so fast, and it's so great. And it's, my, it's my favorite convention, so I'm just like gushing about great. it. But we will make sure to attend those conventions and pick up your comics. What about um, online? Where can we find you? Online, you will find me at uh, carlthompsonart.com. I also have a Tumblr. It's carlthompson.tumblr.com. Um, can you see that? Uh, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, so you can find my work there. We will be setting up a, an online store soon. Very soon. Right. Very soon. Um, and, uh, what's, what's your blog? Scotty Gilmer at WordPress.com. Yeah. And actually, WordPress. check that out. If you're interested further in BFD, he wrote a really comprehensive, awesome article about the making of it. Um, okay. And and Leia, where can we find your work? I am at multiple things. I'm at lelunacomics.com and leluna.tumblr.com and my Go Comics page is go comics slash leluna.comics. So, right. Lots of things. Well, thank you very much for the interview. I hope you have a good yeah, mocha fest. Yeah, thank you very much.